I bought a pregnancy test. I took it and it said positive and I was shocked. I was like, how could this happen to me? Um, so I called him, he was at school, so I, I was at his house. I called him and I told him, I said, I'm pregnant. And he said, are you sure? <laughs> and I said, yeah, that's what the pregnancy test says. And he said, okay, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. It was the first words out of his mouth. He wanted to have an abortion. And I didn't question it either because I mean, I was finishing school, you know, I had my life ahead of me. How was I going to have a baby? How was I going to get pregnant? And how was I going to explain it to my parents? Also during this time, I confided in one of my girlfriends. So she went online and she found a crisis pregnancy center down in San Diego. The last thing that they did during the visit was give me an ultrasound. And I could see on the screen next to me that there was this little, it looked like a bean, so I call it a, a jumping bean. And it was just moving around and it was jumping up and down. And so right at that moment, I changed my mind. And I saw, I said, this is a true living thing. It's not just a clump of cells that's not moving and not living. There was something actually living and growing and moving inside me already. Also, one amazing thing is Miranda. I refer her to, to go to uh, focus on family. And she did. I'm so surprised because in the past she never wanted to listen. But I said, can you go to focus on family, look something about this subject? And then she did, and then she said she wanted to keep the baby. I started becoming more open to adoption. I knew that I needed another option because parenting wasn't going to be the best option for me. After I met them for the first time, I kind of thought, okay, well, if I do go with this adoption plan, they're probably the ones that I would choose. I kind of started very basic discussions of what it would look like to make an open adoption plan with Susan and Alex. She encapsulates life, and so it's interesting that she is the daughter who has come from this, you know, uh, the situation where, you know, the choice of death was an option. But she absolutely personifies life and energy and vitality. She is on the go.